That's how you're doing. It's why I said to press escape back when I'm a blog. Today is uh, Tuesday, October 18th. And today, I'm going to be showing off my updated OG Xbox collection. So, yeah. Um, so, we've gone from about, uh, about I don't know, 30 something games, I think. 31, 32. We're now got about 40. So yeah, look, I'm just gonna get straight into it this time, guys. No, uh, no messing around here today. So first up in the collection we have here with us today, we have uh, we have All Star Baseball 2003. Um, hopefully this is gonna be in the recording. I hope that's not the case. Move the. Uh, Laptop a little bit further to myself so I can show this off. It's showing now. I think it is. See, so yeah, I'm assuming this is a baseball game. That's why I can guess it is, guys. Um, at least I think it is. I've never played these myself, but apparently there's a uh, series of them. And they're featuring this guy called uh, Jerry Gator, or Jerry Gita, how do you say his last name? I was thinking he's like a famous baseballer or something, I don't know. Um, oh, it's showing here, there we go, cool. So there's, there's uh, All-Star Baseball 2003, and I probably will get the other games at some point, don't know, maybe, maybe not. We shall have to see it anyway next that we have. Uh, this is Area 51. Um, so it's you know basically about like, you know the uh, government base in America. You know that uh, uh, it involves like super, you know, like alien-based threats and that. I think like you know the technology of aliens. Um, I could see where it's actually showing the game on the camera here, guys. But I'm hoping you guys can see these. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Now I can see it. So, yeah, there it is. Um, let's open it up. Uh, is it that way around? Uh, that way around. So, yeah, there we go. There's uh, Area 51. Not played this game before, so I don't know what it is like, but uh, I'll give it a go at some point. Okay, next up we have a uh, game we already had uh, from last time. This is Blinks the Time Sweeper. Um, so apparently this is a time travel game. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's one of Microsoft's mascots, you know, Blinks. Um, I don't have the other one, which is uh, Budo Vince. I think he's the other. Um, the other, uh, what do you call it? The other mascot, the other uh, Microsoft mascot from the uh, early 2000s, I think 2001 or 2002. There's that. Haven't played it yet, but it looks good. Well, I've heard. Um, next up we have Call of Duty Finest Hour. Again, I now have on both the uh, OG Xbox and GameCube. So, uh, yeah, basically nothing to say about it. Other than the fact that I've not played it yet. And, you know, as I say, I'm actually fun of Call of Duty games, but uh, I'm collecting them. Uh, so that when I do get into them, I will be able to give them a go. Or not be able to give them a go. I'll be giving them a go, basically. Okay, next we have uh, Cars. Uh Played this a lot on the uh, PS2 back in the day, and uh, this is one of the first uh, OG Xbox things I bought, like I own, guys. Um, on my OG Xbox, at least. Yeah, my eyes are all chunky a bit. Don't know why. I do not know why. But uh, yeah, there's Disney Cars. Or Disney Pixar Cars, I guess. Okay, next we have. Ugh. Uh, conflict Desert Storm, and um, from what I can tell on the uh, description on the back, guys, this is a uh, survival kind of game. 
Well, password yeah. application. Your squad. Software update. System dialog. No, we don't want to do an update. Soft cancel. No. Okay. Cancel. But software update. Cancel. Pop. Cancel. Quick time player. Problem. Movie recording window. My MacBook has Stop recording updates. buttons. No, I don't want to stop recording. Voice over shush. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Uh, the problems of being a blind person. Uh, well, well. Uh, this is a yeah. Apparently, it's a survival game, and you um you have like a squad, and you um you, like have weapons and you're trying to survive like um in the desert, I believe. Within the name, I guess you know it's called Desert Storm. It looks interesting, at least from the premise. Yeah, there's that. Okay, I'm just gonna stack it up in the box. You know, I like my games uh, stacked up alphabeticalized. Let me see, do you like that? Next we have. A game I've heard is both good and underrated. This is a uh, Crash Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. Um, I still need to get into the Crash series. To be honest with you guys, I've not played any of them yet, and I own, I own the first four games. You know, I own the first three on Insane Trilogy, and I own the fourth game on the Switch. So, you know, I have all four of those games plus this now. Well, I've had that for a while. I think I've had that since like um, March. So I got my OG Xbox in January of this year. So um, yeah, I think I got that in like March or April. That game. Uh, next we have um, in this blank space we have Dragon Ball Z Sagas. So yeah. Um, one of the few Dragon Ball games I haven't played yet, but it uh, looks like from, from the gameplay I've seen. It's uh, apparently not a great game, but you know, I think it's cool because you know, it goes from Cell and Saga to Cell. And as I say, that's how I grew up with Kai, was uh, it only went to the Soul Saga. So any game that goes only to the Soul games, I dig. I truly do dig any game that only goes to the Soul games. Oh, hang on, oh, oh, I know that's no, I know the mistake! This isn't Dragon Ball. This is uh, Doom 3. But, um, yeah. And then the stake. And then the mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Blind passing problems. I even have these stacked up in the correct order and all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's my, that's my fault. But, yeah, Doom, I've heard, is like a. I think it's like also another Survivor series, I think. But there's, um, there's that. I don't know where the games are falling over. I have in the box. That's not good. Not good at all. Then also we have a pair of sagas. But as I just said, I like it because it only goes from science saga to cell saga. And um, the reason why it's in the blank case is because um, I think the uh, case that came in got damaged at one point. So there's that. But yeah, uh, my bad guys, I meant to say Doom when I said Dragon Ball the first time around. So apologies. But um, the rest of these games, I. Oh, fuck's sake. Stay in order, would ya? Falling out the, falling out the box, annoying man. Okay, there we go. Next we have uh, Enter the Matrix. Um, so I have this game on both GameCube and Xbox, and what intrigues me about the, um, I think I said it in the uh, GameCube collection or the updated GameCube collection, or whatever. I find it interesting, guys, how this game on GameCube is two discs yeah, on the. Uh, I don't know about PS2, but also on the free uh, OG Xbox, it's only one get, it's only one disc. Um, but I'm seeing it's, yeah, I know it's based on the Matrix series, which um, I've seen the first movie, and I think I've seen the second one. If I remember, they're pretty decent movies. Okay, next we have the Fantastic Four. <laughs> also have this on OG Xbox and GameCube. Um, you know, it's based on the Fantastic Four. And as I always say, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I I claim to be a great, you know, massive Marvel fan. I've seen the majority of the movies and the uh, TV shows. And I can't wait for when the uh, Phase 5 films come out. Um, you know, we've, well, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is the last out of the fourth out of the Phase 4 films. And then um, we're not getting Phase 5 till next year with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, it's called Quantumania, I believe, is the new one. And then we're getting, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and... Um, uh, 
Come on, people, you know it. It's your favorite one out of the TV shows. Uh, Loki season two, yeah, Loki season two coming uh, next summer. Which I'm hoping, like there was on my birthday uh, last year, I'm hoping there's an episode of it on my birthday, which would be fantastic. You know, happy fitting. Uh, an episode of my came out on my 22nd birthday, you know, uh, June 30th, 2021. But you also know, an episode of it came out on my, on my uh, 24th birthday, uh, 30th of June, 2023. Um, so anyway, next, uh, um, next one we have, where do we put, that's it's boring, yeah, we'll do it, okay, four, let me show you more back, uh, oh no, 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 we didn't, let me do it, uh, nice little tricks, so yeah, we've, uh, got here Fantastic Four, you know, where you get to play as the, uh, the, um, which one? Invisible Woman. The, uh, Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, and, um, Johnny Storm. You know, the Human Torch. Just want to show off, uh, that's a very tricky one one time, guys. Because that, look, that, that, uh, so you go in there, agree with me, that, that, uh, that gameplay thumbnail looks pretty cool. Thanks for the Matrix. So there's that. And then Fantastic Four. What do we have? Uh, I believe this is FIFA 4. No, not FIFA 4. FIFA 5, I think. Is that right? Yeah, this is FIFA 5. Um, it says 2005 on it. I'm pretty sure this came out in 2004. I'm pretty sure the one that came out in 2005 would have been 06, which is the one I don't have on the 360. Um, you know, it's just FIFA games again. There's not much I can't really say of them if you don't know. Uh, you know, who doesn't know FIFA? You know. Um, okay, next we have. Uh, next we have Halo 2. So, which, you know, I showed off I had the uh, third game on the 360. I also had this on the uh, original Xbox. Don't have the original game yet. Also don't have Halo 4. But, um, and I believe there's like a couple of other, uh, like games, you know, like, there's one called, um, ODST, like Halo 3 ODST. Software update. Software update. Mac OS Monterey 12.6 is available and will be installed later tonight. Voiceover, to shush. I'm trying company. to do a block Press here. Control. Auction. N. Voiceover, shush. <laughs> you are ruining my fantastic blogging. Anyway, guys, next up we have uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. Um, I always claimed that the books... Well, here's the thing. As much as I love the books over the newbies, um, um, you know, certain ones of the newbies are actually better than the books. Like, um, I always think Chamber of Secrets is better as a, as a, as a newbie. It's really a, a lot more better as a newbie. Um... And I know, like, unlike, unlike the LEGO games, these are based off the movies. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting when I do eventually play this game. Um, and see what it's like. Because I've never played, uh... I've never played any of the games other than Goblet of Fire. Okay, so we have... The third one in the, uh, series. We have, a uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, wait, no, 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 hang on. Oh, did I just... Did I just, uh... Did I just grab... Goblet of Fire instead of Prison of Man. I mean, did I just... Have I just been making a state with these games here? Again? Oh my god, dude. So what I have here is Goblet of Fire. Um, so I'm just telling me that this here is... <laughs> Prison of Azkaban. Okay. But again, you know. The third game in the uh, series there. Um, so I'm not sure it didn't work. So this is Halo 2 here. Um, where is it? No, this is, no, this is, a uh, Chamber of Secrets. This is Chamber of Secrets. Based off the second level. Um, I just want to show I've done these right. Uh, Halo 2. I believe this is right now. And then, um, we were okay with that before that. Yeah, because the first game before that would have been, uh, FIFA 05. Uh, 
Are these in order or not? They're just all falling apart. Is, is, is this like the Let's Play cast, guys? Do you know? Does anyone know that? You know, is there such thing, you know, as a, a blogging cast for YouTubers? You know, once you put, like, you know, the same as when, when you put, you know, when you once you've uh, pressed that record button uh, with gaming, is it the same thing? Like, you're basically screwed. Because I do wonder, is that the same thing? Yeah, my foot's getting dry now. So, yeah, there's a. Uh, hello, so. Uh, Game of Secrets, I believe. Prisoner of Azkaban. Obviously, you guys can recorrect me in the comments if you like, you know. It's actually real helpful to me, you know, if I've made a mistake on any of these games, and you can tell me what they actually are in the comments. Uh, but I think I've, I think I've corrected myself now. So here's, um, here's Goblet of Fire, the one I've played out of the Harry Potter franchise. And it's one of the first OG Xbox games I ever bought. Um, I've been the first level, you know, and I believe this is also a bit playable on the 360. So I might play that on 360 for you guys as a Let's Play, maybe. Um, yeah. Okay, next we have Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. So, you know, obviously you're basically being a Hitman here. And, you know, sneaking through the shadows as an assassin, basically. I don't know. I'm trying to guess from the premise, guys, of the titles for some of these games, to be fair with you guys. I'm, not, I'm gonna be level with you guys and just say I have no clue half the games, what they are about. Like we have uh, Incredibles. Based on the uh, Disney Pixar movie. With Mr. Incredible. I have to sort these games out again in a bit in the box. Very well. Um, next up, I believe we have. Hang on, we just. Did we make another mistake? Hang on. No. Hang on, what have we got left here, down here? This first pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think that's right. That's... Right here, then. Where's the arrows? Oh, that's here. Where's the arrows? Which one was the other way? Okay. Wait, what was that last one? Was that... Was that... Oh, no, it was Hulk. Sorry guys, that last game I showed up was Hulk. Oh, uh, Hulk smash! <laughs> Hulk, and this is Incredibles. God, I'm getting these mixed up so much. Sorry guys. At least this makes this an entertaining blog, you know. Because, you know, the uh, one of the hard things of being a YouTuber is you've got to uh, try and keep in all interest with your audience. Next what we have... Uh, James Bond 007 Nightfire. Another one of the games I have on both GameCube and OG Xbox. Um, but I got this version first, obviously. Um, and also got to say, guys, that unlike when I did my, uh, uh, what was it, the updated GameCube collection? Or was it, no, it was my, um, newly updated 360 collection video. Um, the, uh, screen on the notebook kept, um, going off, like, dimming. I'm glad we've, now that I've got the charger in, it's not doing that. So next we have uh, King Kong. Uh, this is apparently based off the Peter Jackson film. You know, of the, uh, you know, the giant gorilla called King Kong. So there's that. Don't know what it's about, but I do have it on a PlayStation Portable as well. I know that for a fact. Next we have uh, The Legend of Zelda, A New Begin... Uh, what was it? Why do I keep wanting to say this is Zelda? It's bleh. the Legend of Spyro: A New Beginning. I swear to God, I cannot talk after 10, 11 o'clock at night. I swear to Super Saiyan God, guys. So next we have the Lord of the Rings: Two Towers, based off the second movie in the trilogy. And, you know, as I showed off in my GameCube collection, or my updated collection at least, I have uh, Return of the King on the GameCube and, uh, you know, second game on the uh, OG Xbox. So, you know, I just have uh, the Fellowship of the Ring to collect. And I don't know if that's on a... I'm assuming because, um, you know, the second game is on the OG Xbox, I'm going to assume the first game is also on the OG Xbox. Because it came out in... Um, 
Because the first movie came out in 2001, I think. Like 2001 or 2002. So it would have to have been on the OG Xbox. Uh, next we have Madagascar. The first one. Um, played this a bit on PS2 growing up. It's a real fun game. Like the uh, the Madagascar games are really fun. Well, the two I've played because I've never played a uh, Madagascar Part or uh, Europe's Most Wanted, based off the third game. Not for that game, the third movie. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, hiccuping. Over the Hedge. Another game I played uh, growing up. Got quite far in it growing up actually. I think I got to like, I think I got close to the end. Uh, growing up, but um, I can't get past the uh, first level in this version, I'm afraid at the moment. Uh, Let's Play is also on the way at some point. <sighs> so I have one of my couple of only two uh, disc only games, guys, but this is uh, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. This is uh, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. I believe this is the one I played uh, growing up on PS2. Um, the original version is based like adventure stroke fighting survival game, basically. That's what I know of one at least. Okay, next. On to the second pile. Here we go. What else we have? This is a uh, recent game I've collected. This is uh, Scooby Doo Mystery Naker. So I got this game because um, well, I used to love watching Scooby Doo when I was growing up, guys. Scooby Doo, -y -doo where are you? some help from you now. Uh, I believe you just play as Scooby and Shaggy in the game. Um, you know, you're going on mysteries, uh, trying to, uh, you know, undisguise the, uh, the villains. Next we have, um, Shrek. Now, so Shrek's on the game, guys, but it's uh, actually Shrek. Based off the first Shrek film. I played it before, but it looks good. Here's the second one. And, uh, you know, I've seen gameplay of the second game. It looks good, at least. I have a game that I've never played, but it looks really fun. Uh, Shrek Super Slam. So it's basically a Shrek... Uh, basically a Shrek variation of Smash Bros, from what I can tell. You know, I'm saying it's just Smash Bros with Shrek characters, which sounds actually quite fun. Oh, no! Okay, we're good. We're golden, we're golden freezer. Just went idle. I've got to say, that's the first time it's gone idle today, so that's good. It's not gone as long as... It's not gone as uh, early as the... Uh, what do you call it? As the uh, other video I did on here. Okay, next we have... Um, what's this game? This one, hang on. Have I made another mistake? Don't tell me I've made another mistake. No, I couldn't have. Oh, yeah, I have. Crap, hang on, I have. Let's remember, these aren't the games I said they were. The Star Game Guys is so... Oh, my God, I swear to God. I swear to Super Sign God. Two mistakes now? Seriously, guys? Come on. Come on, Wyatt, so get it right. So this is not Scooby-Doo. This is... Um, this is the Prince of Persia Warrior Within, so it's the second uh, Prince of Persia game I own. It says that. Uh, this is Rugby... Rugby 05, I believe? Yeah, Rugby 05. And then this here is Scooby-Doo. I believe it is. Yeah, this is Scooby-Doo here. I think it is. I hope it is at least. So, Shrek. I just want this blood to end now. I'm so tired. Shrek there. Oh, no, that must have been Super Slam, so I must have shown up. Shrek. You guys will have seen them. You guys know what they are. I'm not going to get them out again. I'm, I'm just tired now. I, I just think I showed you guys. um. Shrek, Shrek 2, and Shrek Super Slam, as well as um, Prince of Persia, Warrior of Inn, 
Love video 5 and Scooby Doo Mystery Maker. Anyway, uh, here is the next game. This is Simpsons Hit and Run. Um, played this a little bit. It's quite fun. I played it a bit growing up. I got to the second level, I believe, growing up when I was a kid. So there's that. Sims busting out. I played this a tiny bit growing up. Um, you know, it's a Sims game. Not as fun as um, Sims 3 and Sims 3 Quest Mario 4 and Late Night and all the others. Okay, uh, here is Sonic Heroes. Is that right? Yeah, Sonic Heroes on the OG Xbox. Played this a bit growing up, actually. I've actually played a little bit on the Xbox. It's quite fun on the Xbox, actually. Uh, my favorite thing is always Team Dark, you know, with uh, Shadow, Rouge, and E1 Sophia Mega. I love how uh, you, have to, you get to fight uh, Metal Sonic in the end. Next we have Sonic Riders. Riding on the way the Super Sonic. Uh, I believe this is the last game to introduce Jets, the Hawk, and also Rouge, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's basically a Sonic skateboarding game. Like skateboarding Grand Prix. So you're basically racing in. Next we have... Uh, this is a blank case, but this is a uh, Spider-Man 2. Played this a lot on the PS2 growing up, and it's basically um, if you're not below it, it's basically Spider-Man GTA. So basically, uh, you have to round the streets of New York and um, you know play with Spidey. Okay, next up we have SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. It's a uh, party game. Like a mini game series with SpongeBob characters. So that's that. It's quite fun. I played that growing up as a child. Okay, uh, just a few more games here, guys. Like three more games. We have uh, us, the SpongeBob movie game. Play this on PS2 growing up. And you know, I like the I like the movie game. It's fun. Next, we have the other disc only game I own. This is, if you guys can see this, this is Spyro Heroes Tales. This is technically, um, hang on, I've got the disc one around. Yeah, there it is. This is technically, uh, I believe this is technically known as Spyro 5. And this is the only one on the OG Xbox, because I believe, um, I believe, what's the fourth one called? Um, Enter the Dragonfly. Uh, never got put on the OG Xbox. Um, but I have I have obviously reignited trilogy, so I've got the first three games there, and then the fifth game. So I just got the fourth one to get for that. And finally, the last game in my collection, we have a uh, World Snooker Championship 2005. And this is a snooker game, I'm guessing. So you just play snooker. So that's that. That's all my games. Um, that's all 40 of the games. I'm so sorry, guys, that I got confused and cafuddled uh, with some of the games. But you know. Uh, it's being uh, late at night, you know. Sometimes you just uh, get confused and forget which games are games, even though you've got them uh, in organized order. But, uh, you know, clearly the uh, YouTube cast of uh, recording got the better of me. And, uh, you know, I uh, hope you enjoyed this blog by me, Y6256. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe for more of these. Until next time, I'm Y6, signing out. Bye guys. Zero. Stop.